One year ago today, most business owners didn't understand the overhaul and operations they had coming to them. As we mark the anniversary of the first coronavirus case in our area, Duke Carter is showing us how businesses are managing challenges that they never expected. I learned that we have a presumptive positive case here in Louisiana. Not long after Carnival 2020 in the city of New Orleans, life we once knew changed. If we were given clear direction, we would not have had Mardi Gras. Day after day. The number of reported coronavirus cases in Louisiana is now skyrocketing. We continue to be and are increasingly very concerned by the number of cases of COVID-19 that we're seeing here in New Orleans. Governor John Bell Edwards issued a stay at home order in an effort to prevent the spread. We've closed public schools, bars, casinos, movie theaters, gyms, and fitness centers. It also meant foot traffic along Bourbon Street came to a halt. We've had hurricanes, natural disasters, colds, uh, hot, and uh, this has been the most trying time ever was dealing with this coronavirus. Brad Bohannon owns Spirits on Bourbon Street. He thought we'd be back to normal after we flatten the curve. We thought we'll follow the science and we'll, we'll do what we have to do to make this happen. Over the months to help keep his staff safe, he installed signs informing customers to wear masks. He also placed more tables outdoors to follow social distancing guidelines. Safety was our number one priority. One year later, the virus still concerns him. He's also concerned his dream of owning a bar may end. The majority of businesses, including restaurants and salons, will now be able to move to 75% of their capacity. While he watches the majority of the state move into phase three of reopening, New Orleans has a history of implementing more restrictions than the state. The city of New Orleans is in phase two. Uh, we will remain in place. Uh, we will continue to let the data drive us. Bohannon thinks that sends a mixed message. They can go hash all out their nonsense out and let their egos fight with each other. But at the end of the day, we want to do the right thing. We want to be safe. We want to be able to open business. We still got insurance to pay. There's no more conventions, seminars, concerts, balls in the convention center. There's money loss. There's no more parades coming through the CBD. Money loss. There's no more tourism. Hotels are closing or they're going to 50% capacity or 20% capacity. That's money loss. Ricky Ricard owns G's Pizza. He's managed to operate during the pandemic because people have been ordering takeout from his shop. Now he faces a new type of competition. It's all of these four and five star restaurants that would have never thought about doing delivery before. They're on Postmates, they're on Grubhub, they're on Waiter. And so now where you used to could go to one of these food apps and have maybe a hundred places to choose from is three and four hundred. You can get lobsters and steaks. This leaves him wondering what his future holds. The future looks dim, but you still think positive. I control the faith. I have people that are working for me. We hire people from all backgrounds. I have people that if they're not working for me, they may be robbing on the streets. I'm looking for leadership. I'm looking for a sign. I'm looking for them to tell us, you know, when is it going to be OK to, to even think or pretend that we're going to be normal again? so that the good times can roll again. In New Orleans, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. And, you know, and we were talking just a little while ago about uh, it's been one year, but it seems like it's been two or three years we've been yeah, stuck in this. Yeah, it really feels like it's gone on forever. I know everybody's ready for things to get back to normal. Well, and you, you've kind of lost track of time on a lot of things, too. Very much so.